All right, what's going on, you guys? I'm back with another video. And today we are going to cover the shoe shine, which I think is one of the most fundamental movements, drills, training drills for boxing. And simply the main reason is because the shoe shine helps you synchronize your hands and your feet together. Now, as a practical tool, you can sort of use the shoe shine on the inside or in certain variations in boxing. It sort of more looks like a flurry. And the shoe shine, I'd say, is more of the drill format of the flurry. It has some practical use, but this is more for synchronizing your hands and your feet. Also, I'm going to show you how you can use it to work through where there might be tightness in your technique, whether that's in the shoulders, whether that's in the core, the waist, or whether that's in the lower body. I would say with the shoe shine, you'll train two aspects. One is speed, 15 seconds on as fast as you can, 15 seconds to 30 seconds rest, 15 seconds on again, do that for eight to 10 sets. The other variation that you can work if you want to get the endurance and the fluidity going is you'll go three minutes of a shoe shine nonstop. All righty, guys, when working the shoe shine, a couple things are going on. Number one is I generally want a wider stance. Why? Because when I'm in my boxing stance, I want to be in that sort of stance. So if, if you stand like this, you wouldn't get the same effect as when you're in your boxing stance. So you want to have the width of your boxing stance. You can even go a little bit wider. This is going to train you that when your feet are moving, that the pressure is going outward as opposed to just lifting your feet up and down. You want a little bit of force, a little bit of pressure going through the ground. So let's cover the lower body. Your feet are outside shoulder width. Okay, you could be here in your stance. And all you're going to do is run on the spot quick. Okay. As you work variations and get better, it doesn't always have to be a run. We're going to go over that. But this is just to get you started. Here, left and right running. Now with the upper body, the main thing with the upper body to really make the shoe shine effective is you want to drive your elbows to the center line. You don't want to just be like this. And you don't want to just be arms or at the elbow. You don't want to just be elbows. You want to move your elbow forward so that it's your shoulder. Here, watch. I come forward. I take my elbow and I drive it to the center line. Okay, so I look like this. Drive, drive, drive. The other way I can say is here, you're going to take your fist and you're going to shoot it straight up on a 45 degree angle. Up, as if like a ball is coming. I want to punch that ball back. At the same time, this elbow is coming forward. This is going to prevent what you see in, in sort of the fitness classes is people doing a shoe shine like this. <laughs> okay, and that's not really going to have much of a carryover to boxing. So number one is you have your center line. You want to take this elbow and this fist and drive it as much to the center line as you can. It won't be perfect, but you want to bring it forward so that this whole shoulder carriage starts to get loose, and that's going to have... Uh, a huge impact on how fast and how fluid your punches are. If you're just moving elbows and arms, you're missing a huge component of boxing technique. So here, without even the feet, you take your elbows, drive, 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 drive. See here? Drive, drive, drive. I'm coming through forward. I'm coming out and forward. I don't want to just be like this. Drive, 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 drive. It's not a circle. It, it can be once you really get fluid, it can look circular, but it's actually a drive and retract. Drive and retract. Each one has a little, uh, a little bit of an oomph to it. Now watch. When I shoe shine, when I throw the right side, this is when the right foot has to lift because when I punch, Boom, I pivot. When I punch, boom, I pivot. Remember in punching, I take pressure off of this leg so that I can rotate quickly, and then I stop myself to throw. Punching power is not a push like skating. It's not this, okay? It can be if I'm driving. It can be, but rotational power is a quick turn and a stop, <laughs> okay? So when you work this right side, Right foot, right foot steps, okay? Just up and down, but you're wide. Then here, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. I'm exaggerating, right foot, left foot, okay? As I go quick, 
Here, I'm bringing these elbows out away from me. I'm not doing this. And I'm not running up and down. I'm trying to push out. Okay? So here I go. Right, left, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now, how do you use this as a tool to really improve your technique? Well, there's three aspects to punching. One is the feet, the shifting, the stepping, the transfer. Number two is the core rotation. And number three is the release of the arm, whatever the punch is. So I could do nothing and I could just throw the arm. I could twist at the waist or I've got feet. Those are the three major components. So if you find that your shoulders are getting tired or you're feeling a general tightness or tiredness in your core or your feet are getting tired, you can limit what you do in the shoe shine to really get the gain that you want in that aspect. So let me break it down for you. Here, I want to work just general conditioning. I work a general shoe shine. 15 seconds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, six, seven, ten. Time. Okay, I would take my little break and I would go again. That's my general shoe shine. I can do my 15 seconds on, 1530 off, or I can go three minutes. Let's say my feet are good. I have good condition with my feet, but I find I'm always getting tight. Shoulders are getting tired. I'm going to take the feet out of the equation, put all the load onto the core and to my arms. So here I go. I'm going to not move my feet. <laughs> and you're going to find you'd be a little bit slower. It's be a little bit harder. <laughs> and you're going to feel all that pressure happening here. So you're going to build up the endurance and the conditioning in your bottlenecks, in wherever these aspects are limited. Now, let's say your legs are good, your core is good, but your shoulders get tired. So then you're gonna just work the shoulders. Here I go, very little waist. I'm trying to drive them out. I'm gonna move a little bit, but I'm gonna re resist. Oh. And you'll find if you do that, and you have tightness in your shoulders, that's where your weakness is, you're gonna really feel it there. So here again with the shoe shine. Again, you gotta work it, elbows drive forward, feet wide. If I wanna work on endurance and volume, let's say I have limited time, maybe you're an MMA fighter and you're dividing up all your time, take three to five minutes and just go. Get loose, get loose. Feel the looseness in the shoulders, feet working, okay? Really getting that volume, let your body adapt. As your body is forced to face volume, it's gonna scale down muscle fibers that it knows it doesn't need. It's like, oh, we don't need that. We don't need the pecs to be tight. We don't need the lats to be tight. We just need to do this. And then when you get out there, you're gonna have a lot more speed, a lot more fluidity. Shoe shine, just an amazing drill to really improve your boxing, your speed, your fluidity, and your conditioning, I recommend that you do it every workout. Just like I said, 15 seconds on, 15 to 30 off, or go three to five minutes every workout. Put the shoe shine into your program. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Peace.